Hi there. I'm Steve. I live here in Florida. Came out here to enjoy the latter part of my life with my wife and daughter. And um, having had a, an operation that made my left leg in need of therapy and hardly able to carry me, I got a hay bike thinking that would help. And it certainly has. I had just got out of the operating uh, chair, the operating bed. They had operated on my lower back and I lost the feeling in my left leg. And it was starting to come back, but I didn't have any um, power in that leg. You know, I got on the machine, I could barely lift five pounds pushing with that leg. It's true. You know, now it's, it's almost up to what it was, almost. And um, I thought I'd get a bike that could assist me and that way I wouldn't have to worry about getting in trouble with it. That's the reason I, I went to this and it not only solved the problem, I started pedaling and it made me stronger. So, and then my daughter started riding it. Hay Bike offered the most bike for the money and uh, had everything I wanted on there. I was thinking that I would get it for me and then maybe my daughter would really like it and start riding it and hopefully ride it to school so I wouldn't have to drive her every day. I'm Samantha. I'm a sophomore at American Heritage. I live in a neighborhood, so I have to go outside of the neighborhood to um, do things like shopping and eating. And we have a little shopping mall that's about a mile away. I used to have to ask permission to go there and like have one of them drive me. But now I can just and get there within a few minutes. So I did take it out the other day and I, I rode along the canal and that was really cool because I would never ride a bike there, ever. And it was just like nothing to it. it just charged through there like, uh, like it was the sidewalk. What I really liked about the bike is it's, it's energy, it's, it's really fast, it gets you up to 22 or so miles an hour. When I use my wife's SUV, it's pretty easy to fold it and put it in the back seat. It'll stand up in there and it's a happy. Camper, happy campers. Folding the bike is great, but it compacts it into, so you can put it in the back of an SUV, great. Putting it in the back of a normal trunk, a small trunk is difficult, although you can stand it up if you don't mind your, your trunk open. And if you wanted to let down, most of them will let down the back of the trunk and then you can slide it in straight and it, no problem at all. When I used to get stressed out, I found that the one thing I could do is go horseback riding, sometimes with my daughter, sometimes not. It always brought me back to nature. And now the bike is, is a substitute, but it doesn't eat as much. The people I would recommend this to would be anyone who wants a bike with a lot of spirit, somebody who wants to go places on their bike that they've never gone before. So we were talking about the beach earlier. I mean, how many bikes can go riding on the beach with no problem? I was able to go outside of my limits, so I, I rode the bike in the weeds next to the canal, and I was just dashing through the, through the grass that was up to the middle of the tire. I would not put my foot on the ground because I'm afraid of being bit by something. Samantha will go into that. So, we and my friend, we were around the neighborhood, but we were on the golf course and by this one hole, and all the holes in my neighborhood, they all have ponds, so. Given that we live in Florida, there's gonna be alligators in ponds. We see the alligator, we start freaking out. Both of us are panicking. Me, because I've never like really been in a situation like that, because I lived in Oklahoma for most of my life. But <laughs> we both panic, me especially. Um, we're pedaling as fast as we can, and luckily we were able to get out safely. No one lost any limbs or fingers or toes. I'm now able to go to places that I wouldn't have dreamed about going. It's nice to be able to take the bike out and it's really enjoyable getting out there and feeling the breeze run through my hair. It kind of brings you back to nature, especially when you're riding out there where there is nobody else. Um, um, it's really nice. Thank you.